Tonight, a reminder that these days, seeing should not always mean believing. These sexually suggestive ads are popping up online, appearing to show celebrities like Emma Watson and Scarlett Johansson, even though the images of the stars are completely fake. And this week, more than 230 of these ads for Face Mega, an app promoting deepfake face swap videos, appeared on Meta's Facebook and Instagram, according to a review of Meta's ad library. Immediately, I knew this was something different from what we've seen in the past. These so-called deep fakes are artificially generated videos or photos that can substitute one person's face with another, often making it seem like they're saying or doing things they've never actually done. And the process that used to take technological know-how and a lot of time can now be done on a smartphone in under a minute. In the terms of service, they ask that you not use any sexually explicit material. And this is the type of thing where if you were found to have violated it, they could ban you from their services. But there are still workarounds. While Meta and other social media platforms also ban pornographic material, people have found gray areas. After NBC News asked Meta for comment, all of the app's ads were removed from Meta's services. A Meta spokesperson said in a statement, quote, our policies prohibit adult content regardless of whether it is generated by AI or not. And we have restricted this page from advertising on our platform. Apple and Android have also since removed Face Mega from their app stores after they were contacted by NBC News. However, dozens of similar deep fake apps are still available to download. We reached out to the creators of Face Mega for comment, but we have not yet heard back. The recent advances in deep fake technology are often used for celebrity parodies and entertainment. <laughs> It's also more accessible for consumers, allowing them to upload their own photos and videos to alter. Something I tried out with ease. We put my face on somebody else's body. But this all opens the door for the technology to be used in malicious ways. Harmful not just to celebrities who have the means to fight it, but for average people. The damage and the potential of this technology now is that you could go beyond celebrities, beyond people who may have legal representation presentation or the money to fight back against these kinds of things. All I needed was one high quality photo of my face and then within 30 seconds I had all of these videos. Lauren Barton is a journalism student who saw one of these deep fake ads and decided to raise the alarm by posting about how easy they are to create. I am the most worried about how this is going to be used to quite literally change people's lives for the worst. Um, we see things like revenge porn. Well, you could create that yourself and use that to destroy a person's career, even a person's life. All right, Stephen Romo joins us now from those videos you think you'd live in the gym, those deep yeah, fake I videos. I those abs. Yeah. Um, in all serious no, in seriousness, though, are the laws catching up to this? The technology is moving so fast. Yeah, that's a big problem. Of course, most states do have revenge porn laws now. It took a while to get there. But only a handful of states actually have laws that address this sexual misuse of these deepfakes at all. So there's a long way to go. There's really nothing on the federal level on the horizon regarding this right now. These bad actors, though, are working very quickly to find ways to monetize this, prioritize this to get more money. And I think the, the biggest change is that the deepfakes are getting better and better, and they're getting harder and harder to figure out. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.